Bloodstar user registration is a two-part process. Part A, create a username and password to log in via Blood Portal. Part B, request facility access as a medical officer or nurse midwife. Beginning at the NBA website, I log in via the Blood Portal tile at the top right of the screen. I click on the link to create a new account. I can choose a username that will be easy for me to remember and then complete the remaining mandatory fields. My username, email address and mobile number must all be unique values when compared to other users in the system. The security questions will be used to identify me in the event that I need to reset my password. I will consent to receiving infrequent NBA blood sector communications and click save. If my username is already in use, I may need to choose an alternative. If my email address or mobile number is already in use, it may be because I have an existing Blood Portal account. If you need to access or deactivate an existing account, please call NBA support on 13000 Blood. I can now log in using my username and temporary password. The system generated temporary password is sent via email and text message. The first time I log in, I will need to change the temporary password to one that is known only to me. There are constraints for password length and complexity. I will use WELCOME12 with a capital W. This meets the minimum password requirements for a nine character password containing an uppercase letter, lowercase letter and a number. Part B. Request facility access as a medical officer or nurse midwife. Step 1. Add a role for each facility that I practice or work at. When I first log into Bloodstar, I am prompted to complete an access request. If I need access to a new site in the future, I can select Request Additional Access from the My Account menu. If your facility manages IG patients but you cannot find your facility in the drop-down list, please email support at blood.gov.au to request facility registration. For each location, Please enter your best contact details to facilitate any discussion of details relating to your patient's IG authorisation. This may be with blood service authorisers or other medical professionals. I can repeat step 1 to add additional locations. I may only wish to use one email and phone number for all locations, but if required I can nominate different contact details for each location. As I see some of my patients at my private rooms, I have also registered this location as a Bloodstar facility and nominated myself as facility administrator. My requested access to a facility must be approved by a local facility administrator before I can view the details of the site's authorised patients. Step 2. Accept the terms and conditions. Step 3. Submit the access request. My access request history shows that I have four access requests with an approval status of pending. Prior to being approved, I can submit an authorization request using the Emergency Authorization Request link. If required, the NBA support team can assist with facility admin follow-up for unactioned requests.